as it stands today, I'm just waiting patiently uh, for the release of my certificate of travel for election that I do the war. And I'm hoping that uh, I will release my certificate of travel. So, good morning, Nigerians. Uh, good morning, uh, Imo State. Um, Maz Ezoke once more here. Uh, today, I want to speak to us uh, regarding uh, Rucha Sokorocha's uh, visit to Asorok. Hmm. Um, you know, people have been saying that he's gone to Asorok to uh, ask for Buhari's uh, help in dealing with INEC. And people say he just got there for court visits. Whichever way, whichever, you know, whatever he's done, that's not, um, you know, no one begrudges him. However, you know, um, there was a video yesterday where he actually said the reason why he went to Asarok. The question is, do we believe that? I mean, he's a politician. He can say whatever, you know, because there is never a time you ask politicians the reason why they've done something and they will tell you the right thing. They don't. They all fluke, you know, they all fluke. So having said that, now to review the video of what he said yesterday, taken by his words, there are some disturbing and you know some comments that came out first of all before we watch a clip of that video i want to state categorically i do not myself Maz is okay i do not for one second believe that okorocha went to asarok just to cut the call and see the president i think it's in relation to the running battle he has with the uh, uh, APC chairman, Adams Oshomole, and the INEC. He has been all over the internet. I mean, the videos are bound, um, where he kept saying that the reason why, you know, that he has a problem with the way Oshomole, you know, trying to manage the APC, in man, in you know, in 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 looking at the way you know on the or rather the conflict, you will see. Personally, I think somehow what we see with Amosun with um, Okorocha is where people are used to doing things in a you know in a particular pattern where they consider themselves emperors. You know, they consider themselves godfathers. Whatever they say will happen. Suddenly, someone came, whatever be the case, whatever be the reason, who thinks differently, that things ought to be done differently. Immediately that happens, you begin to see conflict. So I think, you know, though some mistakes were made in my mind, in, in, in my view again, because... When the APC started doing direct primaries or indirect primaries, I, I told someone that was going to lead into a conflict because that's not consistent. Some states do direct primaries, some states do indirect uh, primaries. Now, as a result of that, and that's what actually led to the fallout between him and um, Adams or Shomola. You know, having said that, now... He won, well, I wouldn't say he won, but his argument is that he won the election in, in Imo State, the senatorial election. And INEC doesn't want to give him his certificate of return. And that's been a running battle because the professor actually, who um, oversaw that election, said that he was forced to announce that election under Durex. Mm. You know, that means he was compelled to. The question is, how true is that? Is Okorocha's word against the returning, uh, the state electoral uh, commission or 
rather, the, historic, uh, the returning officer of that state. So that this battle has led to every other senator where elections are concluded have received years, but he hasn't. So he's been running from pillar to post at some point, and you know, funnily so. Okoroch actually started saying that his denial is against the Igbo nation. I said, hey, 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 stop there. It's not. We know those that actually were telling Igbos that they are Iberiberized, that they are Iberibe people for not jumping and everyone jump backing themselves into APC. And some of us and some people said, no. This is a democracy. If you want to be in the APC, by the way, you are elected under under the APCA platform and you decamped. And um, to put it equally on record, you, Okorocha, contested with Yaradwa under PDP, the president, in 2007. So let's not get things mixed up here. So having said that, you can see that, I mean, he's been in PDP, he's been in APCA and now in APC. So telling people that unless the Igbos are very stupid, unless they come into a APC uh, before they can, you know, uh, get somewhere, means that is actually nonsensical and silly. Because if I take that argument, that means we should have, all Igbo should have been in APCA when you were in APCA, but why did you leave? So all Igbo should have been in PDP while we were in PDP, why did you leave? So it means Igbo should join you in your jumpology. That means jumping from one party to the other. So let me not digress. Let me come back to the main issue here. The main issue here is, as I've given you guys the background, the main issue here is the uh, visit that he undertook in Asaro yesterday. Now, when reporters asked him why he came to see the president, Okorocha said that he came to see the president because he has done more than 1,000 projects. 1,000, the figures. I mean, honestly, watch the clip. You understand what I'm saying? Then we'll review that again. Are you here, are you here to see the president's support to be able to get intervention? I mean, by way of intervention, or what, what do you hear? Your Excellency, sir. Your, your Excellency, sir, the question is that you are in the villa to visit the president. Why are you here? Well, I think I have started to, when I come to discuss with Mr. President, as uh, uh, so when he will come to commission my numerous projects, uh, I've, I've completed the construction of a new cargo airport and terminal warehouses and the cargo shelves. That needs to be commissioned. I've also completed. Uh, a new police headquarters and uh, uh, also a new police headquarters in the Imoster. These are federal government projects built by the Imoster government. And with other landmark projects like the Josephuta Courts, the new Imoster High Court complex, which were built. So we have well over, over a thousand projects verified in the Commission. So I'm requesting Mr. President to kindly commission the federal one. And see how many of the state wants you to commission money. This is precisely why I'm here. The most wonder why you did commission can complete the 27 modern, modern hospitals. Well, well, those hospitals are much bigger than the state would need. But those hospitals were built for possible concessions. So as people come, uh, they take over the hospitals and the, the equipment. But we have some of them run already. The one in Kedro is fully running and it's been taken by American companies. Uh, we have some taken by the, by the some churches and some organizations. Uh, that was our style of making Imo State uh, a tourist destination for Nigeria by building these 27 general hospitals with a, another uh, diagnostic center and free child and mother hospital and Imo Medical Center. So we put together we have 30 hospitals of close to 10,000 beds created by this administration. The one in our office seems to have been abandoned. Okay. That's part of it. Uh, those hospitals are meant for people to take them over because they are more than what the state would need. They are, they are futuristic, so to say. But if you notice that all the roof, all the tile, and finished and fenced, what's meant there? We're looking for management because if you pack in now, uh, uh, you might not have the need for it. I was thinking about the future. Not so, the welcome back. As you've watched the video, you will see where Okorocha himself said um, about the things he's done, basically. And 
he said he's done um, the Imo um, Cargo Airport Terminal, the High Court uh, Complex, uh, the prison headquarters. And um, I actually read online yesterday when someone made a comment to that video that, wow, you've done prison headquarters, that means uh but the revelations that is happening is probably good that you've done that because you might be an occupant very soon and that really cracked me up that said that's that's just on a on a on a lighter mode now one of the things that actually prompted me to make this video let's be very clear is when he was asked about the 27 model hospitals that he's built or building in Imo State. <sighs> My brothers and sisters, the answer is very depressing. Okorochi said, watch him again. Much bigger than the state would need. But those hospitals were built for possible concessions. So, as people come, uh, they take over the hospitals and the, the equipment. But we have some of them run already. The one in Kedri is fully running and it's been taken by American company. Uh, we have some taken by, the, by the, some churches and some organizations. Uh, that was our style of making Imo State uh, a tourist destination for Nigeria by building this. To the seven general hospitals with a, another uh, diagnostic center and free child and mother hospital and even medical center. So put together, we have 30 hospitals of close to 10,000 beds built by this administration. The one in Abom is seems to have been abandoned. Uh, that's part of it. Too. Uh, those hospitals are meant for for people to take them over because they are more than what the state would need. They are, they are futuristic, so to say. Having watched that, this is what exactly he said. Now, the question that really racks my brain is, how on earth could you start a project without having an idea how to complete them and how to use them? Do we just build elephant projects in the name of infrastructural development? Because from his answers, what he said that apart from the one in Ikeduru, which is, which according to him, is functioning, that means 20, out of 27, where we spent billions, only one is functional. The one, he said, has been concessioned to an American um, uh, a company. Honestly, <clears throat> I'm a project manager of international repute. Now, the first thing that racks into my brain when I hear something like that is, where is the planning? How can you not plan? How can you not have an idea of how these things will be utilized? If they're going to be run by state, at least make plans that the moment you finish them, they go into use. I have actually seen these hospitals in ruins. The last time I was in Nemo State, September 2018. I drove around and someone actually took me there. I think I'll probably, let me see if I can get some of these pictures, I'll, I'll stick them here. The, some of these hospitals are overgrown by weeds. These are hospitals cumulatively that will spend billions building. And just because of planlessness, I have no issues. Hospitals are needed. But please, before we build, we should know how that should be utilized. What is the plan? Keep the money. Look for concessionaires. Look for people who are willing to take it over. Drive, you know, draft an agreement with them. Once they agree, there must be a timeline. There must be, you know, basically just do a normal WBS. That's a work breakdown structure saying this is the plan. This is, you know, breakdown of how this thing is going to work. If they agree, if it's going to be in order to attract them, that you build and concession. At least if I'm building this one in Oware or this one in Okigo, I know this particular hospital is going to be concessioned to this AYZ 
company in India or from China or from Germany, as the case may be. I can just go about like a madman, and I will say that with emphasis, no apologies. Just like a mad person building hospitals in the name of, you know, building infrastructures. And once that is done, no one is taking them over. I mean, I don't know if you guys are surprised as I am. That's actually, you know, that's actually the reason that prompted me to actually say, oh, okay, aside the fact that he's gone to Abuja, and which I do not believe for one second, that he's gone to Abuja just to invite Mr. President. Hasn't Mr. President got a telephone that you could ring him or a protocol how you can invite him to come? And by the way, one of the things that I think I'm beginning to find absurd is this useless concept of commit project commissioning. For Christ's sake, build a project, commission it yourself, and let's start using it. It's just the same way... Uh, the president went to Port Harcourt and commissioned uh, Port Harcourt International Airport. Yet months after the commissioning, the, pro the same section of the International Airport is still not being used. You fly in, you still go through the uh, canopies at the Port Harcourt Airport as an international passenger. For Christ's sake, what kind of you know what kind of um, you know rubbish is this? You, you did the same thing with Abuja. Abuja was commissioned, yet was not running immediately. Let us get these things done. Please, uh, you see, we, we love it. I don't know why we like so much frivolities. These things doesn't help us. It is time as a nation that we begin to think lean and think seriously. You know, we think lean in, in a sense that we do things, even if it's direct level. I mean, we're... <laughs> I don't know, honestly, it's, I'm short of words because there are things that we do and we see them, it hurts, it hurts because we've seen it work elsewhere. Why must things be done anti-clockwise in that country called Nigeria? Honestly, I don't want to, uh, this morning, exhibit my anger or, you know, my displeasure about how things work back home or work within the Nigeria where we all are. Um... Having said that, I would say once more, everybody, uh, thank you very much for your time and uh, we'll be reviewing more videos as they come. Bye for now. Mazes, okay.